What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today, yes, it is not a live stream, I don't have time this weekend, so our Bleed Mean Team content is going to come in the way of an actual video. First things first, we are almost done with this chapter system. There's really only one thing holding us back from getting all the way to the 9 star, and that is we just need to get, what, 5 more levels, I think? I think we have to get all the way to campaign... Actually, no, 97, so only two more levels, and actually, it's more like one and two-thirds, so that'll probably be coming in the next day or so, which means we will get our Horus up to E5 very, very soon. Now, Monster Aura is probably still one of the things we're working on the most. I don't think we have enough. Oh, we do. Hold on. We literally had just enough for that one last one. And now the next task is going to be getting the runes unlocked. Because this right here, we just need, what, four more levels. And we'll have the rune system unlocked. And then we'll be able to even power ourselves up even more. Uh, wishing coins. Might as well get it done now. Because there's a lot of extra resources that we might need here this week. So we need to do, what, 70 spins, essentially. So, okay. We'll do one, a two. Actually, there's really nothing great on this. Let's re-roll that. Uh, three, four. Man, it feels so bad at low levels. Like, the loot you get is so bad compared to when you get to higher levels. All right, that should be the last spin, I think. Nope. I'm just bad at math. <laughs> All right, that should do it. Oh, we got the four star twice. That's nice. All right, so we get an elite five star, a thousand gems. Those gems are going to come in handy. We get much more loot. We get a dark five star. And of course, we're getting more profit orbs, more gems, a light five star. And literally the last thing we're waiting on to get this nine star puppet is level 97. So when that happens, we are going to have this 10 star puppet. And we'll have another 9-star, so we should be very close to getting our Horus to E5. We'll probably do that later on in the week. Um, Valkyrie doesn't help us. That doesn't help us. What do we need to do here? And what is this, actually? Oh, the pet. We get more materials. I totally forgot about this part of the glory friendship here. Oh, my goodness. So, actually, is it enough? I think it is, right? 120 so we unlocked the runes and now I think we're gonna kind of like spread it a little even here I want to keep attack and HP very even for our wall deck because I feel like wall decks gonna like Really enjoy having HP and attack. So that's really awesome uh, We might as well just finish upgrading here as well, which is again really really awesome we need to finish our Heroic Miracle so that later on in the week we can do our Profit Summon. I think we're only going to be doing one loop on the Profit Summoning event. Uh, what do we need? Just two Light and two Dark Heroes. So, we got these Shards. We got a Dark Arthen Doll. We got an Asmodel. Neither really matter to us. And we don't have a Light and Dark just yet, but we will get it from the one loop that we do. Although, do we have enough? One, two, three, four... Actually, we have exactly what we need. Perfect. And we have exactly what we need here as well. So we can make the light five star right here. That's good. And then dark. What do we have here? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow. We actually already have seven. That's pretty good. That just means we need, oh my, <laughs> we literally have exactly what we needed for a light and a dark creation. So that finishes it out. That gives us an extra Rogan copy now. So maybe Rogan is a potential build. I mean, yes, he doesn't bleed, but I mean, he, he's got blood like in his actual names of his skills. So, I mean, we got we got wolfish blood. We got bloodthirsty, savagery, warpath. I mean, that kind of sounds like some bloodiness, right? We might do that. But today, the big task for us today, we're not going to be doing too much as far as building heroes or doing profit orbs. Uh, what we are going to do is we're going to do our cores of transcendence and then actually, you know, before the end, then we're going to make it first. We're going to go to Ormus workshop because we are going to be upgrading our crown to glittery. Now that's going to help the wall deck survive quite a bit here. 
we got to get that re-equipped so now at the beginning of combat he gets an increased 20 percent all damage reduction it lowers by four percent every round that should help prevent him from proccing uh and and dying kind of so that's kind of nice for us i do want control immunity removal and i think i want to go with vitality okay so let's see what type of stellar shards we get from these cores Still need another horse copy. Hold on. We need to see if we need to switch that. We have one horse copy. Ah, if we get another one, we'll swap. Chances are we probably won't, but you never know. Let's see what we can do. I'm really just hoping for a bunch of spheres here. Just give me like five spheres. All right, we got a Drake. Not great. At least give me one sphere. At least give me one, please. Oh, no. We didn't get any spheres. This is so bad. This is why. I tell you again, guys, you can high roll in fate and you can extremely low roll in fate. Essentially on this account. <sighs> oh, we got the horse copy though. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. But sadly, I really wanted spheres for more imprints. That feels really bad. We got what? Two more? Oh, we're so close to getting a third one, but we already bought today. So we are going to have to wait. Please just give me. Oh, wait. Oh, no, I, I didn't take horse off. <gasps> yeah boy we got one sphere i forgot we need to take horse off i'm just gonna throw like rogan in there for the time being just just to have him there okay so we did get one sphere which is an improvement on our hero which is good so we can go into wall deck give him give him a little bit more statistics right here can we bring this up to like let's let's, let's bring this one up to like 10 and then we'll quick upgrade this one to eight. So we'll kind of keep them even because again, our wall deck, we really like building them. Like honestly, one HP, one attack node is what I really like running them. Plus with an attack HP stone, which I kind of want to see if we can upgrade. I wonder. We don't have many resources here, so we'll do a few conversions and see if we get lucky here. Uh Oh, last one. Nope, not what we want. Although, do we want skill damage? I think skill damage, yeah, skill damage affects dots. So actually going to swap out the holy attack attack for a skill attack attack. Yeah, I'll take that. That's actually a good upgrade for him. We got all damage reduction, we got the build. Okay, so this is a two-fold process here. Number one is we are going to go in and see if we can get sea land 20 done now that we are just a little bit stronger. And then we need to jump into Aspen dungeon. So is that the squad? I think that's the squad we got a little bit more powerful of a pet and we have of course that crown and a little bit more stellar imprint so let's see if he actually has what it takes to live oh wow that extra energy is actually going to be huge and we should not proc here now that we are much tankier with that crown that crown is literally giving us so much survivability if only we could get past round five without proccing, I think we'd be in a really good spot because this round, yeah, it's still really sketchy. I think that's maybe what has to happen. Maybe we actually have to get past round five without proccing and we go a more tanky build and put another HP enable on. Because we full heal there. That's good. Actually, I think getting that energy last time was really bad for us because now we might not proc. Oh, that was really close. That was like really, really close. Come on, kill that priest off. Next round, we're probably going to die. Oh, we got hit a little bit too hard. So yeah, I think what we're going to do is we're going to run him with a little bit more tankiness here. So from what I've been looking at, none of them are critting. So I don't think there's a point using shelter. At least I don't think there is. Oop, nope, smash. Not smash, we need to kill. All right, come on, challenge it up maybe we get lucky that was a really good first round actually getting that damage reduction on him healing back up here comes round four round five yeah we're gonna proc because we don't have enough health right yeah man it's like impossible to actually get out of that round and then this round we survived because we have a full heal no actually we still die <sighs> maybe we gotta go full out off Offensive to the point where we still don't proc in round two, but then we can start killing targets faster. I don't know. Maybe this living is what's messing with us because that gives us energy for this round. Well, that's actually a good lineup here because now we're going to go back to full. 
Nah, we still proc. Not proccing around five seems kind of impossible. And then we just start taking way too much damage on these rounds where everybody has an active. And sadly, we can't make our crew strong enough to actually live through an attack. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. We really need to target the two priests in the back. I can't believe we did get to 19 really fast. But now that we're at 19, it feels like we stalled out just a little bit. Later in the week, we will be able to swap our Magic Stone Sword. Oh, that was so close. We'll be able to swap our Magic Stone Sword for another crown, and then we will have a Radiant Crown. That could be what we need to get this done. But I feel like a Glittery should be enough. Yeah, we need to hit those back targets, not the front Warriors, because the Warriors essentially just get healed back up to full. All right, heal back to full. Don't proc. Come on. Oh, it's so close. We already have our guild tech all in anti-warrior and anti-priest. Oh, it's so, so close. But I think without having that upgraded pet, we just don't have heroes that can survive. Like, we only have a five-star cruise. If we can get a cruise stun, that would be amazing. But the fact that we don't have priest tech, we don't have any of that stuff, that does put us in a really tough situation. All right, round five. Come on, don't proc. <gasps> we didn't proc. That's actually amazing because that buys us to round eight now where we proc instead of five. So we could have it right here. Yep, there goes the round eight proc. Oh, uh, come on. We can do this. We got to kill one of the warriors. Oh, no. Oh, we lived. Oh, my God. We might have this. Come on. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Seal land 20 is donezo. There we go. Get our smashes in for all the way up there. Ooh. There might be some things we purchase. I don't know just yet. And in reality, if we do decide to do that, we will have over 400 relics, which means technically during this event, we could buy another Magic Stone Sword and then swap it to a crown and immediately have a Splendid Crown. Now, there is one big issue with that, and that is building it's an issue. We only have about 7,000 right now. We could dump a bunch of stuff into it, but not a lot. Hmm. Those are expensive to get to Splendid. We can definitely get to Radiant. But getting an extra 13,000 is going to be really difficult because there's really no way to buy artifacts here. Like, there's no way to really buy dust besides opening the dust up and hopefully getting it. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. We'll come back tomorrow and we'll do our Aspen Dungeon. I think that is a perfect point to stop. We got Sea Land 20 done. That skill damage attack attack stone was pretty solid with the HP enables. Uh, Vitality probably definitely played a big role too. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Let me know what you guys think. I'll see you guys next time.